the tonsia thing. I'm not sure. I'm trying to avoid the sun, but I'm not managing it. Uh, welcome to another exciting week in Bulgaria, across the UK, travelling, achieving absolutely nothing. see anything I came outside because I thought oh, I'll go outside and then um and then Chris won't be pottering about but of course the second I did that he came outside as well and where I look like death warmed up by the way um my eye allergy thing has flared back up again I'm starting to think I'm either allergic to um dairy or alcohol because those are two things that I wasn't touching for like a few months and the eye thing went away um but of course you know what is life without cheese and wine um anyway it seems to be getting a bit better so maybe it was just the stress of traveling uh so what have i been up to this week or oh, week and a half of course now i'm out here talking chris is trying sawing something in the background um oh, what can i say right so most of my week last week was taken up going back to britain because i'm trying to get my romanian visa for work and um you have to go to the embassy in person so last Tuesday, I had a wonderful journey. I got the bus from Oresh to Sofia, and that was great. It was a 6.30 a.m. bus uh, from the outside the train station. Ellie, I'm not throwing you frisbee. Oh, okay, I'll throw it. One moment. Um, there. Um, and then, I'm not kidding, I'm getting really good at sleeping on transport, so I was asleep before we even went past the Oresh turn-off. And then that bus took me to Sofia Central. It was brilliant. It only stopped. It stopped at Levski and Pleven stations. Um, and it stopped if somebody was waving a ticket in a village, which is what I was doing. Um, and that took just over three hours. It was 24 Lev, so about 12 quid. Um, so not bad. Then I got a taxi from Sofia Central to Terminal 1 because there is a metro that goes to Terminal 2. But then you have to get a shuttle bus to Terminal 1, and I was starting to push it for time. So that got me back to, that got me to the airport. I went from the airport to Manchester Airport. I went from Manchester Airport to um, Poulton Lefield, where near where my mother lives, um, on the train, which was pretty much as expensive as a three and a half hour bus journey in, in, Great, in uh, Bulgaria. And then I stayed with my mum for the night. Uh, then I, the next day I went out with my brother and his wife. I stayed with them for the night. And the day after that, I was allowed to return to my own home because uh, my eldest had all their friends around and um, I wasn't allowed to be there. So I went there. And then from there, the next day, I went to Manchester to have this appointment at the uh, embassy. And there you go. Oh, and you're enjoying this, I'm sure. Um, and it was just, it just did not work out the way I wanted it to work out. So... Uh, first off, they rejected my financial information. It's apparently a screenshot showing that I had enough money to support myself in the bank wasn't enough. They wanted bank statements and pay slips. Plus, also, I gave them a job offer. That should be proof of, of income, surely. Uh, I gave them a, the contract I've got. Um, but anyway, they said they wanted to see more. And you don't just get it on the spot. So, and you have to actually have it affixed into your passport. So obviously, I needed my passport back because I was flying back to Bulgaria the next morning. So when they confirm that my visa is ready, I have got to fly back to Manchester again to collect it. Um, there's no way I'm going to be there for the 12th, which is the date they wanted me there. School doesn't start till the 19th, so I've still got a few days' grace. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's getting very expensive in all these flights and things. But I was glad to be back in in, um, in Bulgaria. I pulled an all-nighter at the uh, Manchester airport, so had a little nap in arrivals because departures was closed. I had another nap in departures when I finally got through there, slept all the way back, um, and I was just glad to be back here where, you know, dickheads aren't throwing bricks at policemen and setting fire to things in the name of patriotism. Because to my mind, there's nothing very patriotic about Nazi salutes. And, you know, our, our country was formed by, it was built on 
immigration and decent people coming to our country. I, I'm not going to get into it, but I'm really, really annoyed about it. Um, so, yeah, since I came back, um, the weather's cooled off a bit. And that means Chris doesn't seem to be able to get his head around anything. He's still too hot, but he is actually in his workshop now building shelves. So that's progress. Um, and I've painted a cabinet, which I will show you in this video. And today I'm going to paint a gate. So, uh, yeah, we're just getting little bits of things done. We've, we've got some grand plans. Davey's been round and uh, measured up for conservatory extension, which we don't need planning permission for because it's a conservatory, not a you know full building. Um, so we're going to save up for that and get that done probably in the spring because our builders are very busy doing Davey's son's house at the moment. Uh, and our plans for this year, obviously I'll be off earning the money, but um, Chris is planning on rendering the sides of the house, uh, which if you, I don't know if you can see our house past our disaster of a swimming pool, but um, that just needs sorting out. And um, we're going to get a quote for some double glazed windows, but we're not going to take the frames out. We're just going to, the frames are beautiful. So we're going to leave the frames and just get the, the bit in the middle done. Um, so yeah, that's me rattling on. I'll stick all my videos together and see what I've got. If it makes any sense, have a great week. I'm going to go paint a gate when I've done this. Peace out. A miracle has occurred. It's Monday, it's 36 degrees and the wind's getting up. But look, so today... Chris um, took delivery of a box, a few, some boxes of stuff because our friends James and Tina, they're packing up and going home in a month. So he's bought all, you know, that stuff that like you, you accumulate as a, a DIY person in your garage and in your workshop. So he's bought all the stuff and we got home. We went shopping to, went all the way to Levski for dog food for Dumb and Dumber. They had no dog food in the freezer. We got home and I said, Chris, we've got a problem. Your leak things are spewing water. And he went and he found this stuff in the stuff. It's called SOS tape. And it's basically, it's tarmac on a roll. And look, it's completely stopped the leaks. So he's put it all around everything he could reach. And now we've got it far up enough for the water filter to be working. I'm sure we're very popular with our neighbours now they can hear that we've filled it up. It has, to be fair, taken us two weeks to fill it up because we've done it a bit at a time. So we haven't used everyone's water supply. But the temperatures are now set to go up to in the 40s again. So I'm so glad we've got this. In other news, I came home to this. So not all the sticky has stuck. There is not much water left in it. But... A lot of it has stuck, so I think if we do a bit more around the outside, we could probably get it watertight. But this is becoming something of a saga. Right, Tuesday morning. I would say this is exciting, but it's it's not really. But I suppose it's an adventure. I've got to go back to the UK to have my appointment at the Romanian Embassy. So, it's ten to six. My dogs are very confused about why I'm up. And this is my bus ticket, so when Chris gets out of the bathroom... He's going to drive me to the RS train station where the bus stop is. And I'm going to get a little bus to Sofia. How exciting is that? Right, I really hope the bus that went past wasn't it. It's due to 6.30. It's Chris waiting. There's a man waiting across the road. I'm going to get out and stand at the stop. It's nice 
nice and easy walk straight through the security and there's my gate. and it's proper old-fashioned. Next leg of my journey, the 12.25, to Darwin to visit my own home and my childish child. So before Chris gets up, let me introduce you to next week's, well, this week's now, it's Monday, this week's project. This is my old Bulgarian dresser. And I absolutely love it. Chris hates it. Um, so I've taken the drawers out and cleaned them. I've taken all the treasures out. The idea is these four drawers are going to be like a kind of hot pink colour, like my nails. And the inside here, and possibly just that back bit there. The rest of it is going to be very dark grey. I'm going to paint it in the same paint that I painted all my tables in. It's like a chalk paint that I got from the, um, what's it called? Hardware shop in Swish Top. And then, so you see drawers are here. All the treasures are in there, including an ashtray. Who, who even has an ashtray these days? Um, I think it'd be nice to keep those because they belong to the last person here. And then, excuse me, dog, my other project is this gate. So yesterday I scraped all the flaked paint off it and when I go for a coffee this morning I am going to pick up from the hardware shop some brushes because you can't use a brush twice with this gloopy outdoor paint um, and some Bulgarian green paint and I'm going to have a go at that. And if that goes well then there's the top gates to do and also this sink. Exciting times! I feel like I finally got used to the heat and I'm ready to work. I appear to have brought a little friend in from the garden. Right, got a layer of pink on it. It's going to need at least two coats, maybe three for that, because that was blue on the inside. And I've painted the dark drawers, so now I'm going to put as much grey on as I can onto the bits that aren't masking taped up. And then um, I'll wait for it to dry. I might go and start the gate outside. I don't like to be idle. And it's, uh, it's cooled down a lot now, so I can get going. I think that's going to look really nice, the contrast between this dark grey and, uh, and the pale pink. I thought it was hot pink, but it's not. But never mind. It does the same job.
Right, that's my first coat on. I know it looks like an absolute bollocks at the moment. It will look all right. I've used this paint before. It's ruinously expensive, but it does do a good job. So that's one coat on. The good thing is it's drying really, really fast. I've just put second coat of pink on the drawers. And then I'm going to go around this bit again now. And then hopefully by the time I've done that, the grey will probably be dry. And I can go for that. Thank you, dogs. is my finished product so I'm quite pleased with this I think the color scheme looks really nice um, it's much fresher I've washed all the treasures from the previous occupant and they've been lovingly displayed there so and then we've got some drawers for Chris to put crap in because he's good at that and then I've made the rest of it into a bookcase my books have not been treated well on their journey here. They are all in a very bad way. But they're now all stored away, which gets me some way towards cleaning the spare bedroom as well, which is full of all our stuff. <laughs>